Hello, this is Clean Coach Carly. I'm the staff nutritionist for Healthy Habits Living, and I'm talking about one of my favorite herbal companies. This is Supreme Nutrition, and Michael, Dr. Michael Leibowitz was, is the founder, and his son, Dr. Noah, joined the company and the team after he finished his naturopathic medical degree. Now, Dr. Michael Leibowitz is a real trailblazer. I mean, he has been practicing integrative medicine since before that was even a term. You know, there was no certifications or trainings or anything like that. He was practicing holistic medicine way back before it was popular. And what he found was that he himself had um, a resistant infection that he could not seem to get rid of. And um, in particular, he had taken noni um, extract, Mirinda, and uh, because it was in the literature that it would, should help this particular kind of infection, and it wasn't helping. He went to Hawaii and he found fresh noni, Mirinda, and it helped get rid of his infection. And so this was kind of a pivotal time for him because he thought, okay, we need higher quality extracts, right? This fresh noni, um, high quality, right in the middle of the jungle, this is what got rid of my infection. Whatever capsules or tablets I was taking back in the States obviously were low potency. So he has built his reputation on having very potent, high quality herbs. He has a very high standard for his herbals, his raw materials. In fact, he will call me or I'll have to call him because we, there's not enough of said herb. You know, I'm like, hey, I'm out of Mirinda. And many times he'll say, well, we got this batch of whatever herb and it didn't meet our quality specifications. So we, we can't, we can't make it. So we have to order another batch. So quality single herbs is supreme nutrition. You can count on that. Okay. So they have added, he and Dr. Noah have added a couple more offerings to their line. Two of them are liquids. These are their first liquid tinctures. First of all, what's a tincture? Tincture is a liquid suspension of an herb. So uh, you take your herb, you soak it in some kind of alcohol, and you end up with this tincture, a liquid extract of the herb. Here's what's great about Supreme Nutrition's. They don't use corn alcohol, which is great because uh, we know that corn is genetically modified. It has a lot of fungus with it. You might have a corn allergy, whatever it might be. They use um, cane alcohol, cane sugar alcohol. Now you don't have to worry that there's sugar in it there though because it's the alcohol from the cane sugar. So there's no sugar. So their first, tincture is elderberry. And this is fantastic because it tastes great. Elderberry, of course, is a berry. And it has been studied for hundreds of years. And we know through medical research that it kills influenza A and B. It decreases the time of the common cold. So you're going to have less time sick. I'll take that. Um, and it can help with respiratory, upper respiratory infections. So I like to, when I'm starting to get a cold, if I feel a tickle or I'm feeling fatigued or the ears or whatever, I start immediately with hot liquids because A, you're going to need liquids if you have some sort of uh, cold or flu because your body makes a lot of mucus and that takes a lot of water. So it's super important, lots of water when you're sick. So I get my hot water going and then whatever's kind of speaking to me, I make my little brew. But here are common things that I put in elderberry syrup because a it tastes good right because we got to be able to like what we're going to drink or it's it's going to be hard <laughs> we're not going to be very compliant so i'll put in some elderberry tincture um sometimes I put a little ginger maybe a little bit of lemon um honey if i'm not using the elderberry uh and sometimes ginger so this is a great way to use your elderberry tincture um the recommended dose is 10 to 30 drops three times per day and with elderberry and any tincture, you can put it under your tongue that will help to start absorbing in the mouth. Uh, with the elderberry, I don't usually hold it in my mouth because it tastes good. And so I don't have a problem just drinking it down. Um, the other way you can use it other than the 10 to 30 drops three times per day, um, like an acute illness, you can take it preventively and you can put it in your hot liquids or put a squirt or two in your tea in the morning. Um, or you can take it as an afternoon treat because it tastes so good. So easy to take, tastes great, um, very convenient, right? Because it's just in a liquid, so you don't even have to swallow it with water. You could carry it around in your bag or your purse or your backpack, um, especially when you know you might be exposed to something that you're concerned about. And remember, it's been studied for influenza A, B, respiratory infections, and decreasing the common cold. So here is their second tincture. This one is not delicious. So don't think that you're going to make tea out of this 
or have it as a treat because this is the black walnut tincture. Black walnut tincture is best known for parasites, but there's a couple of other things that it helps with as well. First of all, let me tell you black, about black walnut. So I grew up in the Central Valley of California and we had a walnut orchard in our backyard and across the street and down the street. And pretty much everyone I knew had at least one, one walnut tree in their backyard or front yard. So that is the California black walnut. Now this black walnut is made from just the standard black walnut tree that grows on the East Coast. And black walnut is particularly good at getting rid of helminth worms. So if you have that sort of parasitic infection, you'll want to use black walnut. If you have any other type of parasitic infection, black walnut is usually indicated. It is a full spectrum anti-parasite. With the black walnut tincture, you want to take 10 to 30 drops per day, sometimes twice per day. I always recommend starting low and slow, especially with something like black walnut that is very potent and is bound to kill off parasites. If you kill off anything, including parasites, too quickly, you will have a detox or a Herxheimer reaction and you will feel worse than you did before. And that will cause additional inflammation and there's no point in that. So for my very, very sensitive clients, me included, if I wanted to do an anti-parasite regime, I would literally start with one drop in the morning and one drop in the evening with plenty of water. And to even make it more effective and less likely that you'll have a bad reaction, and bad, what I mean by bad is uncomfortable, um, I would take a binder 30 minutes before my black walnut tincture or two hours after. Uh, the binder, of course, that I love is Takasumi, also made by Supreme Nutrition. So the binder is there to mop up or soak up dead parasites or any toxins that are released from the parasites or any inflammatory molecules that are created when you kill something in your body. So it will help to decrease side effects of killing off stuff in your body. That's the black walnut tincture. Their third new, newer formula is Cissus. Now it does not come in a tincture. It is capsules. And Cissus is really interesting. Uh, one of the most interesting things I've encountered lately because it has bone healing properties. So it's been studied for um, helping to heal fractured bones and heal osteoporosis. Uh, so that allows rebuilding a bone. But then it's also been studied and shown to improve weight loss and metabolic syndrome. So two very kind of different things, classes of conditions that it can help with. There was a 10 week study. All of the participants that took CISIS had decreased body fat, decreased waist circumference, decreased fasting blood sugar, decreased lower cholesterol, um, and overall BMI. So amazing, right? This is phenomenal results. So I think of it mostly for um, menopausal or postmenopausal women who may have more body fat than they want and or may be developing osteoporosis because it's a dual thing. It can help with both. So that is CISIS. Now, Supreme Nutrition also has Lurong Supreme, which has naturally in the herb has glucosamine and chondroitin. Those are more for healing tissues, like joint, capsules, cartilage, um, tendons, muscles, ligaments. So I think of Lou Rong for um, soft tissue injuries. I think of Cissus for bone fractures or healing bone. And in fact, I would think about that even for like if you got a total knee replacement or hip replacement, I would think that it would solidify or help heal the bones that have been traumatized due to that surgery. So these are the new offerings from Supreme Nutrition. Uh, here at Healthy Habits Living, we are always here to keep you up to date with the highest quality lifestyle products to optimize your health and help your life. We are here to help you get healthy so you can stay healthy and be healthy. <laughs>